I wish I got my glasses. Yeah, I know. I just decided to go check on you guys. I waited a long time and nobody showed up. Judging by your face, you haven't found them either. You decided to split up? What's up with him? Is he all right? Tired, huh? How are you feeling? I feel tired just looking at you. Your face is like a weak old sock. serious you can't honestly suspect me i'm just like you i was kidnapped on december 20 <sighs> yeah it came from the hallway there's nobody here let's try hitting the button if the door doesn't open immediately then we'll know So...
Let's just head for the green. Because the treatments, that's where Dio and Quark... You aren't worried? I just want to make sure there's... Are you sure? Dio admitted to killing the old woman, but he still insists that he didn't kill Alice or... What if he's telling the truth? Doesn't matter. No harm in being careful. Probably getting worse. How about Dio? Oh, that's not good. Check his pulse. Look. The oxygen level for his pod says... Someone must have tampered with the pod and look... Look, we should... Come on. Found Dio. He died. Oh. Someone tampered with the pod and lowered the thing to 0% oxygen. Asphyxiated in the pod. Okay, is that two? No, okay, fine. What, what is it? What? But why? I thought that Dio was the one who killed the old woman, and then who killed him if he was the murderer? There's also Quark. No, I'm just saying that strictly so, just... you know. Well, in that case, fine. I hate to say it, but doesn't... Me? Yes. You could have done it any time after Sigma and I left the floor beware. Don't give me that. I was waiting for Clover and Tenmyoji to show up. did though so I got him then I bumped into Sig I see so you heard something then perhaps it is likely that were the two of you together the whole yes we were you never split up right mm hmm in any event we don't all right let's get back to the floor baby clover and Tenmyoji where? Huh? You didn't take it? Dio was a green spy and I are the magic. Shit. Without Dio's bracelet, we will- I fear not. All three of us don't- You two go on ahead. All right. Oh, one other thing. I need to give you the- Yes. Without these. So, here you are. Please, take them. All right, let's get go- Maybe they did go through the door, like Case. Or. Hey, lay off. I want to believe they're a. But. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize for keeping you. What? You're gonna put her in there. 
No, I think they'll still play. Did you get Dia's brain? Well, technically, yes. Huh? Best you just see. This is what I found. Oh. What? I assume whoever murdered Dia... I can't say for but if I were to get... Chromatic to five minutes. With a bracelet like this, I doubt we can get past- That means Kay and I- When the time comes, those three- If anyone is left outside, they'll be penalized. I see. That's what they wanted. Whoever killed Dio wanted to use the game to kill me and Kay. That's why they broke the bracelet. I think so. It makes the most- Go on ahead, Sigma. You have those bracelets, Kate. You should be able to get through this, so just... But if you stay here... told me neostigmine is a type of cholinester. That means it's sort of an antidote for... I knew it! Give it back. I found it so it's... The antidote? Sigma, where are you going? Doors, so you have to have bracelets that equal. These were white, so you have to have something that equal white. But someone decided to destroy Dio's bracelet that they left in the, the pod, so that they could. So that means anyone left outside the doors with chromatic doors closed is penalized, which means that they get 
kill him. Mm. All three of them right now. He has... There's two injections that happen. The first one is Silk World B, which is like a, a thing that makes you sleepy. And then the second one is the Turbo Cure... Jay! Stop it! He's tearing apart his bed. Turbo Curie, which I believe ends up stopping your heart. Mm -hmm. But the thing that Dio had found, the injector... The injector... The injector has something in it that will actually counteract the Turbo Curie. <clears throat> he was trying to get it so that one of them wouldn't die, but it ends up he's gonna die too. You stop it! So he's trying to save five because she's the only one he can actually inject because K is covered in a suit of armor. Why did you... Then, why didn't you... You're the biggest idiot on the planet. No, screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt. No, goddamn, I'm not... Open up the suit. Yes. No. It was empty when I found it. I killed him because 
because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. I couldn't... The... The old woman. She was like... Mother to me. She showed me how to see... How to see meaning in my life. Yes, I am. She was the woman who came here when I was 18. Sigma, unfortunately we are out of time. There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. You cannot forget. You see a lion with two heads devouring the sun. Remember, remember these letters. M-I-L-K-E-V-O-L-I. This will open the second gate. Is ending? Oh. Yep, Katie's ending. Oh. That made no sense. Uh -uh. So we have K, Dio, and Clover's ending. Something. Answer me! Please, Clover, calm down. We don't even know if she... Then what happened? An accident? You think a scalpel just dropped from the ceiling and stabbed her? Cool it, kid. You did it, didn't you?
Are you nuts? Then who did it? Who killed her? Oh, hey, Susan. Hi, Susan. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Her and... <laughs> Clover, even if we assume that she was murdered, that doesn't necessarily mean the killer was one of us, does it? Wait a minute. You went into the A-B room with Alice. Something happened in there, didn't it? No, nothing... Don't lie to me! There's no way Alice would just run off like that! She wouldn't leave me! Some... If she was going to leave, she'd tell... She... Hey, Clover, don't you think just assuming Alice was murdered is jumping the gun a little bit? How can you look at her? Scalpels don't just stab people all by themselves! Oh, I get it now. You're all in. It wasn't just one. No wonder you're so anxious to say this wasn't a murder. Clover, please. Huh? Fine. Show me some proof. Prove to me in ten seconds that or I'm going to kill every last one of you bastards! You're all going to die just like she did! Nine. Clover! Six! Five! Clover! Three! What? No! No! There's no way she'd do that! All right. Where'd she get the- Um, I did hear someone come into the infirmary right after the A-B game ended. Was that before I showed up? Yes. I got up to see who it was. It could have been- <coughs> Yes, I think so. You're lying! This is all a What's wrong, kid? Don't you sad? <laughs> we can see Willow and Jake's here. You want me to clear out your bed here, Homer? Leave that. Ugh. There's too much crap in your bed. There's too much crap in your bed. Come here. Then why did she do it? Why would Alice What? <laughs> You just said she killed her. Just tell me the truth. Then prove it. Your ten seconds ran out a lot. A uh, journal? Ah, well. Sure. Yeah, it is, but translating this is full of words I've never heard. Huh? Yeah, I... How did you know? Because I'm magical. No, wait. You just knew? Come on. Yeah. Right. Give me a moment to look at it. Oh, you sleepy girl. You guys have been playing pretty hard today. And you gotta walk. For the first time in a while. Yeah. It was Wait. way too hot last week. Yeah, it was. Oh, Lord. Let their future be a... Whew. 
It's been going. Not bad, actually. Not... My... Right now, I can... Um... Gotta get the invitations out, so my... My maid of honor... She made her save the day, so she's making the invitations. Um... She is working on those now. Oh, she is? But, yeah. Or she's, I think, trying to design it. Gotcha. So we have... We have the venue, we have the... We have the venue, we have the caterer, we have the photographer, we have the DJ. Um, did the save the dates already? She's working on invitations. We have the hair and makeup um, people. It's almost time for the primary. Um, started on getting Sorry. decorations. We have, a good, we have a good portion of those Bye, and now. I won't be able to open this. Um, so she was a magenta pair. Just now noticed that, did you? I think we're doing okay. What color is your bracelet, Luna? I'm a scientist. The guys are starting to go get pair. sized for their sh suits and stuff. The, most of the girls have their dresses. That means the two of you will Flower so. girls have their dresses. Come on now, Clover. Super cute. Alice would want you to serve. You'll never be able to figure out why. I'll Please. You're right. So not too bad. Alice. In general. I promise I'll figure out who's. I mean, if you'd never been locked up in here, you never would. So, so it's I. I promise. I'll avenge you. All right, we're out of time. Move, people. You guys head on down to the floor. We'll catch up with you later. <laughs> yeah, can't exactly leave him behind. Uh-huh. Very well. We've got our time off work planned. I called and got the dog scheduled to be boarded. We're getting there. It's going to be more of the smaller details once we get closer. Looking hold the Clark, hotel and what yeah. we're hey, going to do afterwards. Where is everybody? Oh, God. And then, like, tables, like, seating arrangements, all that type of stuff. I still have to get, uh, what, What's wrong? Are you okay, Grandpa? For the day. Bye. Nothing's wrong. I'm, I'm fine. But... So, how are you feeling? Feeling? Well, okay, I was I sick or something? No, no, <laughs> if you feel fine, then you're fine. What? So was I sick or something? I don't remember... I'm pretty... So I'm pretty sure that... Quark and Alice have radical sex. It's a virus that slows time down. Mm and basically causes you to kill yourself in order to escape. Mm. Oh yeah, and then it fills you with like hopelessness and stuff and makes you depressed and then leads to some, or something like that? No, it doesn't make you hopeless or anything. It basically, it slows, it literally slows your perception of time down to like, minimal. So the only way you think to get out of it is to kill yourself. Yeah. Because you get disconnected huh? from reality. I should never have gotten you in. What are you? You're doing it again. Are you sure you're okay? So, where's everybody? Mr. Sigma's here, but. Okay. That means I'm on a team with you guys. Right. So, um, these white doors. Oh. When are they gonna open? <laughs> oh, that's not good. We need to hurry. Come on. This is going to be a messy one. How do we get to the floor, B? Okay, okay, we're going. Get about being stuck with these two. <laughs> this could be a long path. Some weird shit 
happens. And they end up not trusting me at all. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. Well, she's getting her. I just make plenty of provide opinions. Opinions help. Not when I don't have one. Tired over there. Chromatic. Well, we've got a long day of playing and a walk, getting more playing. Uh, Five minutes. You're thirsty. late. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Quark? You're awake and fully recovered, apparently. I am also Ooh. relieved to see you well again. Come on. wondering who K actually is. I kinda know. Okay. I think. I have suspicions. Gotcha. Because there's two people who from the last notary game oh. that were in charge of it. Mm -hmm. And I think they have something to do with this one and I want to say she is K. Mm. I kind of me too. Well, wait a minute. But I don't understand the whole K ending thing. Because yeah. Sense. What are you talking about? Huh? I think we gave Port the antidote that cell of yours, mm. which is why he's okay. <clears throat> uh, um, anyway, we need to hurry. But there are three doors. <laughs> All of the doors are identical for this round. I believe it doesn't matter which team uses which door. Then we're taking the one in the middle. Why that one? You want a kill shot? You aim for the center. Yeah. You're more likely to just miss the... That logic is flawed and more than slightly disturbing. Hello, Nikki. Hi, Nikki! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't really have a counter-argument, so center door... I suppose we could go with the one. Is that okay? I mean, we could go with the other one if you want. Well, the door on the right. Any objections? All right, let's move. 30 seconds remit. Hurry it up, Fi. This thing's gonna close. I know. It's time we were go. Right. Sure. Everyone runs. <laughs> right behind. Let's go. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic. Nikki, I gotta send you a picture of the swimsuit I ordered. It's pretty. I thought it was pretty too. Oh, yeah. Probably the office of whoever it is that's running this. It said director's office on the door. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Or maybe not. <sighs> Why the hell would I? We should look around. This really is zero C.
but it's an old like 50s, 60s trailer park theme like place you can stay at. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I've been really into sunflowers here recently, so I thought it was really cute. street from us that we're gonna get like a season pass to it's just a little like community pool but it's, it's pretty nice and it's we can go ahead of like they do an adult swim two hours before they let kids in so we can do that instead of going when all the kiddos are there no worries <laughs> Enjoy lunch, Susan. <laughs> what? She's chewing. Oh, she was like laying there, almost looked like she was dead with just the bone oh, in her mouth. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh. How are you feeling, Nikki? Are you like past all like the morning sickness stuff and everything or oh. go somewhere? cravings. Yellow to purple. Uh, 
I did this before. Green to red. White to blue. Yellow to purple. this kind of crap. John, Tony, Ian, Michael. Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Michael, Ian. Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Michael, Ian. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Michael, Ian. Chris, John, Tony, Michael, Ian. Okay. Carol likes being on the left. to be on the very right. So, and for me, first be near Bob. There we go. That was lucky. 
She had a picture of her. There is none. <laughs> 
<laughs> Aya. Is Tenmi OG Junpei? No, it would be H. Okay, so if I take this out, take this out, this here. I think we're supposed to try to make it a parallelogram?
Ah, stop it. Just need to make a box between these two.
for a little longer. Oh, oh, I hate it. I I L P. Okay. No worries, Susan. I'm glad you could show up for a little bit. Yeah. But thanks for showing up. We'll miss you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, well. Oh, 
Okay, so you needed to pop it in order to see H-E-L. What's I left something in the director's office. Oh. What was it? The picture. Ugh, how could I forget it? <sighs> I'm going back. You two go on ahead to the warehouse. I want to come with you. Nah, that's fine. Why don't you head back to the warehouse? The others are probably already. <laughs> right. Bye, Mr. Sigma. Forty-five minutes. There. At this time I waited for you to get back before you see? I can be considerate. <laughs> yeah, where are they? And they'll be here in a few minutes. No big deal. They're taking a little long? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, I'm getting worried. What if something happened to them? Then I shall accompany you. Just don't look into the abyss too long, or you might become a monster.
So, you finally made it. Oh. I am Zero. I was the one who brought you here. You undoubtedly have as many questions for me as there are stars in the sky. As you can see, however, this is only a recording. I will therefore be unable to directly answer any questions. Ask if you wish, but I... <laughs> now, where... There are many things I wish to tell you, but unfortunately, our time is limited. As such, the information I can provide is also limited. I have chosen two things of great importance to tell you. First, I will tell you about termites. Termites? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yay. In retrospect, I suppose that's a rather odd thing to say. Well, in all honesty, I mean, it popped up in here, too. Oh. This is rather sudden, 
but I have a password for you. It is the password to disarm the bomb, numbered one. Are you ready? I will only say this once. The password to disarm the no BQZ RGJ DXR. We should take them out real quick. Yeah, probably. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, guys. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I... It's good. Leave it there. Sorry. You're good. Come on. Get out. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be back, guys.
This message was meant to be before I go, however. You cannot tell any of your companions what you heard or saw here. If you do, you will be penalized immediately. I hope we will meet again. We would have much to... <laughs> Ten minutes, all play if no vote is recorded. Something he had to tell you. Nothing that significant. Just wanted to tell you we're going to choose ally this round. That's it. True, but we've got something to back it up. Just hear me out. Quark and I both have 8 BP. We're already on the home stretch. So what do we need to get to the magic well? We need you to choose ally. If you do that, it doesn't really matter to us what we pick. <coughs> exactly. That being the case, we don't have any reason. And if we both choose ally, we both gain points. You guys end up with nine. But that's why we're telling you we won't choose... B mm -hmm. Of course. I can guarantee it. I can give you my word. I will not open the number nine door. I swear it. We aren't going to abandon everybody else just so we can escape. I swear to- I promise! But I make a promise, trust me. Please! You've gotta trust us! Two minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We're counting on you- You gotta choose- You promised! One minute remain. Results will thank you, Ambidex Game. Results from Ra Please Dial.
Clover, Tenmyoji, and Quark are getting out. Who? Clover, Tenmyoji, and Quark. Mm. They betrayed me. Oh. Coins have been leased. Quark had nothing to do with it. I made the vote. Grandpa. <laughs> I only promised you one thing. We wouldn't open the number nine door, even if we got nine points. Not what I said. Oh, you fuck. What? He's like, I won't open the number nine door if we got nine points. No shit. You're gonna open it because you got 11 points. Fucking asshole. Of course we're going to leave. Look, <sighs> see Clover over there? Clover's open again. Son of a bitch. <sighs> oh no. Jeez. That bitch! <laughs> Wait. Quark and Tenmi- No! God! All three of them are leaving. Clover? Are you really going- Well- yeah, why else would I open the door? But why? I'm going to go call the others so we can capture Zero Senior. Tenmyoji, are you in qua- Yeah. Sorry, everybody. So, Sigma, happy? I kept my promise. Clover opened the door, not me. Asshole. <laughs> you say so. I have to get out of here, and that's that. He's got to pay for what he's done. He? Zero. You mean you know who Zero Senior is? Yeah. No point keeping it a secret now, I suppose. I know exactly who Zero Senior is. What? The number it will read. Let's go. Come on, guys. Time to move. Right. Oh. This is for you, Mr. Sigma. It's a letter. I wrote it in the director's office. I wanted to tell you what kind of guy Grandpa is. So, read it, okay? What? See you later, Mr. See you. Goodbye. I don't know. This is another bad end. The number nine. This ends. The no thank you for your as the game is over. All doors other than the number nine. Escape is not. Please enjoy. Shit. They're gone. All we can do now is hope they. Indeed. I agree. Why don't tell me what your grandpa is, and then you tell tell me when I was one, he forgot I was sleeping in the bed of his truck and drove off. I rolled out and went off the back, but I didn't even get scratched. Yeah, great grandpa. <laughs> I started walking when I was two, and when he wasn't looking, I fell down the stairs. I didn't get hurt then either. Aw. 
I guess he says he's pretty lucky. The way I didn't really have any more accidents after that, and I've been a pretty healthy kid. By the time I was six, I started helping grab well with his work. The job was to gather junk from abandoned buildings. I didn't fix it up or pull out the useful parts and sell them. There was plenty of abandoned buildings, but finding good stuff in them was hard. You had to know which parts were useful, or you could end up wasting a bunch of time. Every time I'd find something, he explained to me what it was, how it was supposed to work, how to fix it, and all sorts of things. Usually, though, I just wanted to finish up work so we so I can go to the theater. The theater came to our town once a week in a wagon. I'd show the news or movies. I went every single week, but Grandpa only went once in a while, and he'd only go weeks when they showed movies. Oh yeah, I didn't know that I'd been adopted until I was seven. One of the other kids on my block told me, I guess after Grandpa found me, looked all over town to try to find somebody to take me. A kid from my block actually had a mom, but he'd asked her if she'd take me too. Gotta admit, I was pretty shocked when I heard that. There wasn't a lot of kids with parents around, so hearing that someone left with his actual mom was very impressive. I was also kind of surprised that Grandpa had tried to get someone else to take me. Did that mean he didn't want me? kid told me about Grandpa trying to get rid of me was a real jerk. He was totally spoiled, and he bragged to everybody about how he had a mom. Like, he liked to come up to me while I was working and say stuff like, must, not, must be hard not having a mother. Never bothered me before, but after I found that Grandpa had adopted me, I started to think that maybe he really didn't want me. If I could work on my own, then I could then get rid of me. I was scared to know the truth, so I never asked him. Then one day he took me to a bar in our neighborhood. During the day, of course. He went, went there sometimes to drink scotch, but I had never gone before. When we got in, he just walked up to the counter with that grumpy look he has, and th I thought, oh no, he's going to make me work here. But I was wrong. I saw him pass something to the bartender, and then he picked me up and set me down on a stool next to the counter. The stool was pretty high, especially for a seven-year-old kid. My legs just dangled off, and it seemed really, really high to me, and it was pretty nervous. Eventually, a bartender came back with a glass of scotch and another big glass of something else. As I looked closer, I realized the second glass was full of some sort of brown liquid with a scoop of ice cream in it. Okay. It took me a minute to realize the root beer float. I'd never seen one before, I was so surprised. This root beer was even more expensive than the nicest alcohol in the bar. I mean, the other kids, it seemed more like an urban legend than a real drink, but there it was right in front of me. I stared at the float, I wasn't even sure that it was real at that point, and turned to look at Grandpa. He looked back at me. I didn't know what to do, so I turned to the bartender. He already turned around and moved off, though, so I figured he must have put the glass down in front of me on purpose. I still didn't like it when seemed like it could be real, and I was just staring at it when Grandpa told me to hurry up and drink it before the ice cream melted. His gruff voice sounded like an angel's. Is this really mine? He nodded. Words can't describe how awesome it was. I'd never tasted anything like root beer before. The cream and sweetness of the ice cream blah, blah, blah. felt like the luckiest boy in the world. That's not an exaggeration. I really thought that root beer flow was delicious, but what made me even happier was Grandpa. He looked up, and I looked over at him. He was smiling. I know that's got to be hard for you to imagine, but he really was. Right then, I didn't care whether he found just found me or adopted me or whatnot. Bought me a root beer float that made me look than any some kid, blah blah. Of course, after we left the bar, he was the first kid I bragged to. Grandpa and I were doing pretty good until a fight. Bad mood that day, I tore up one of my shoes that morning, and some old drunk guy yelled at me. All the junk I found was totally useless. The day was almost over, and I was fed up, and so I just grabbed some random trash and took it back to the house. When I showed what I'd found to Grandpa, he frowned. He started going through each thing I brought back and explained why they were all useless. I got really mad and just yelled, I don't care. Then he got mad and I couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away. Pretty upset and started thinking that maybe Grandpa had only adopted me, through, adopted me so he could work and make money for him. After a while, I went and hid an abandoned building, but by then I started to calm down. I think maybe I should go back and apologize. It started raining pretty hard, though, so I decided I should wait for it to stop. But that was just an excuse. The truth was that I was nervous. Part of me knew I'd done something wrong, but I didn't want to admit it. Rain didn't stop, though. So I just sat up, sat there staring out at the gloomy gray sky. I imagined Grandpa come to get me. It kept raining all night, and he never showed up. I gave up waiting and decided it was time to go home. I was about halfway there when I heard someone groaning. At first, I thought I should just ignore it and not get involved, but then I went over anyway, and it was Grandpa. He was totally soaked, and I could tell right away they'd been there for a really long time. I yelled, and he opened his eyes a little bit. He smiled weakly and said I was glad I was safe. He'd spent all night looking out in the rain. Awful Grandpa had been out in the rain looking for me so long that he collapsed. It was horrible. He heard me crying in the rain, but I hadn't heard him. As I ran to get the doctor, I promised whatever God might be listening, blah, 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 blah. He got a real bad fever and his temperature wouldn't go down for days. The doctor said if it'd keep up, he'd die. If he died, I'd be all alone. There wouldn't be anybody left to take care of me. But that happening, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Fortunately, I must have passed some of my luck on the grandpa because a week later, his fever finally broke. I was glad he was going to die and I was also a little scared. What if he had decided he didn't want a stupid kid like me around him? Well, holy crap, he did this on two pages? My plan was to apologize as soon as he woke up, but when the moment came, my brain just stopped. Grandpa started to talk and it took me a mere 
man to realize he was apologizing. I didn't know what to think. He explained that he was an old man that meant he probably was going to get dice sooner rather than later. I was, he was strict with me because he wanted to make sure I'd be able to make it on my own after he was gone, but maybe he'd be a little too strict. All the things I worry about are stupid selfish. What? That it's a long note. I was like, yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be two pages, but I guess... You wrote a fucking novel. All the things I've been worried about been stupid, selfish, Grandpa cared about me a whole lot. He'd been worried when I ran off. He ran out of the rain looking for me. I started to apologize. But when I opened my mouth, I just started crying. I don't even think I cried that once since I was a baby, but he just smiled and patted my head. I asked him if he'd ever regretted adopting me. He got all white and said, of course not. He told me that he was hoping for a really important lady, looking for a really important lady, and because of that, he'd have to give up on pretty much everything else in his life. But when he got... When he took me in and started raising me, he felt like he'd gotten some, one of, something of his life back. That's when I decided to stay with him forever, even if he said I could. Are we done? Oh, I think that's Quark's ending. Nope, Tempe Oji. I feel like he... Mm. Let me see if something. Yeah, not that. Yeah, that's right. What? This is Jim Pei. The guy you play in the first game. Oh. It's Ted Miyogi. Oh. He's been looking for a Kane. Huh? That's the reason he has a picture. Um. That would make sense because she's this old now and he's this old now. She was in the first game, too. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's kind of easy to figure out. He's carrying a picture of Akane and everything else. I'm not spoiling myself. Leave me alone. I kind of figured that out earlier, anyway, so... Not to piss him off. One minute. Please! You've got it! You've I'm, got it! You promise! If I do this, though, I think Clover's still gonna do the same thing. Ten seconds. Nine. Mad at me. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. safe in that AV room. See? Round three of the results. Thank you, Ambidex. Maybe there's always a safe. Results from please stop. Tray betray. Yeah, nothing changes. Clover's still getting out. Yep. Clover's leaving. Coins, please check. Quark had nothing to do. I entered the vote. Couldn't I ask you the same thing? No, fuck you. That's why. I don't really think this is the time for a fight, though. Look, Clover's over by the door. Yeah. Ah, uh, the 
fuck, she opened it. I think I've heard the word fuck in this game. <laughs> uh, why? Clover, what? I'm going to call the others. I'll get justice for Al. The number nine door oh has oh been opened. Again. It will remain. Time for me to go. No! Please close. Like. Goodbye. The number nine. This ends. Thank you. As the game is escape, please. Or does it just end? I think it just flat out ends. Yep. Cool. Okay. Oh god. Are you serious? I played this for 32 hours. Okay, so. I can do this one now. There's no one here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe Dio and Kay did. A lion. A sun? We probably can't use it. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, just as I thought. Might as well forget about this. We can't get anywhere with it. See if we can find it. This is the director's office, shall we?
I know the password, I don't know the username. So I can't do that then. So instead we'll go over here. <clears throat> do this until we have to All right, please pay it. You need to hear the Adam has finished. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected. Oh no, no! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off no, radical sex. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Right. I thought of that too. Unfortunately. That... No, that is all that's covering her. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while. But they can't. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse. Yes. Well, then what do we want? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. What? Well, what is it? Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure- Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it- We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something- Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask. As he collapsed immediately, it didn't feel appropriate to go dig, to be honest. It had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about that? We have it! Hurry up and give it to him! Uh, hey, hold on a What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first? Um, I'm sorry, but... What? There's only enough here for one person. Wait. The only way we have to administer this is with the... And the way it functions. It use... In other words, we can't split the... Right. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Sorry. No, unfortunately not. No. Oh, God. Just enough medicine. Only one person. Who should we give it to? Alice or Quark? But what are we going to do? <laughs> How? <laughs> Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Yeah, I forgot about that. Replicator makes... Yeah, probably copies... IG. Would... Who knows? Ice cream by the... Uh, what? <laughs> if I told you, you had a nice antibody. Achievement for that was if I had, if I told you you had a nice antibody. <laughs> oh, nice cream. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the clover, and I examined it thoroughly when we were in the. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did. Exactly. My question is. How do you know about it, Sigma? <laughs> when was that? Oh, now they're getting suspicious. He's pulling memories that he didn't... not supposed to have. Oh, jeez. Probably when you were looking for Al. What he 
he's saying is true, that would mean we could cure Alice. Hmm. Let's go have a look at the laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. So this is the lab, huh? Yes. Where's this IG re So this can copy the Accelivere? What are we waiting for? Skip it. Just press the damn... <laughs> Have a look. The empty vial has something in it. And the vial Sigma used remains as it does not seem to have lost it. So, it would have been pretty bad if it... What happened? You dropped one of them? What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? <laughs> Uh, guys? You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? Then what the heck is going- Take a look. Oh, bomb. Whoa. Really? That makes two, then. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do- No, not any of it. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out. So we shouldn't consider- Is that right? Yeah. Quark- But Tenmyoji- you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infer- What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb- That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go- Hey, what's this thing? It looks like a- Where was it? Um- Right under the- it was down on the floor. Could it have been put here by the same- there was nothing like it here when we examined- <coughs> Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. But what do you think's on it? Yeah, I- So what do we do? Ten minutes, all play if no vote. Uh, guys, I think- Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, what should we do about the- Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous- True, but- Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. <laughs> right.
This ought to do. It might take a little while. Yeah, she's not wearing a shirt at all. It's just a necklace. Tacky. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the vials can the original was genuine too. Now that they've been treated. It's only a matter of time before the vi- I believe so. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. <laughs> Five minutes remain. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our... Ah, uh, he stayed back. Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he was, so I asked him if he was coming with, and this is what I got. I'm still worried about it. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're... I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one since Dio said he's going to pick an ally. If I can't really pick anything else, if she does... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Kay and I are going to be going one since Quark still sleep. That is correct. I've got six. As do I. If one of them can get the other to ally, and then <coughs> betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Look, Kay, I know you don't- I know. You would like us both to- Yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, we would lose nothing either. But that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both- Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it. Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Shit, this is bad. We need to move now. Indeed, shall we? Sounds good. Thirty seconds remain until Amadex yes. game polling closes. Here's Shorty. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna stop here. two or three streams. Unless I can do really, really good on the next stream. But then I'll have liquor in me. I just want to get this done. By the way, we got a... Uh, oh, well, I'll tell you in a bit. Hold on. But, yes. 
So that's saved. We'll just hit delete save data and we'll just start over from the beginning. But yeah. <clears throat> we did, oh, what did I say? We did get this too. Mm hmm. Which I want to play sometime soon. Because it did get released. But anyways, you all have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Right? Yes. Hurry, I'm right at the end. Oh, fine. Just finish your book. No. Nope. I'll wait. What? Are you? Oh, stop. All right. Good night, guys. Good night, Thank you everyone. for coming. You all have a good one.